No. 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 No! Stop with your cloudiness, you piece of world. T minus 35 hours until the lunar eclipse is happening. So I gotta prepare. So over here we got a whole lot of stuff actually. It's basically my entire camera arsenal. To start off, we got my nice lens that will go on this camera, the one I'm holding right now. And this is around 500 millimeters. I have a uh, extension that goes right here that will put it up to a thousand millimeters. And then down here, I've got a GoPro that's gonna do an entire time lapse of the entire thing of the moon, but my entire situation. I was thinking about having my phone be on this, have this on it. It's a lens that you can see the moon from. It's pretty chill. I'm just gonna have an alarming amount of cameras. So far, so far I'm gonna have three, which that's not even counting all the other ones that I might, might, might bring out. I got for Christmas a telescope that you can, is so beyond accurate uh, for like the moon and stuff. So you just put, that's a, this is a phone adapter, which you put your phone in and it will look through the lens to see what the telescope sees and this thing no matters what uh, eyepiece you have in but this thing can zoom in super far and it's one of the telescopes that has a computer I'll, I'll demonstrate it here so if I click this button it will actually move I need to replace the batteries of course before the eclipse because it does use a lot of battery but this entire control panel right here shows us, if we click on solar system, it will show all the planets and you're able to, you know, scroll up and down. And then when you click enter, which I just clicked back because it's turned off now, it'll actually take you to where the planet is with this aligner, <laughs> which is completely awesome in my opinion. I look weird in this lighting, but uh, today is the lunar eclipse. It is around, in around, nine hours from now, which is going to be epic. And it's partly cloudy outside, and it's foggy, and let's hope that clears up because there's a wind advisory to all that and I'm like oh please tell me it's just gonna blow all the clouds out of here because that would be the best case scenario we're able to go out and we're able to watch it unlike last year when literally it became cloudy right when they like you were able to see the see the moon the entire way up to it and then right when it hit eclipse or like maximum eclipse boom you couldn't see anymore I'm like why why would you do that to me <laughs> but at least we get another one this year, let's see. Hopefully it will not be cloudy, cause that would suck. Um, I'm charging up my gear right now. Oh, you see that little epic rig of Canon batteries, GoPro batteries, and it's all on an extension cord. Are you dying chickens? Are you just made the weirdest sound ever? Goodness gracious. Where's the sun? I want to see the visibility through it. Where's the sun? Is there even a sun up today? Like, does the sun exist? Does the sun exist, buddy? Have you seen it yet? I don't know. All right. Going out in the yard. The sun will be over there, so we... Of course it's a little clearer over there. We're right where it's going. <laughs> Not too cloudy, right? In this area. That's just all fog. That's clouds. That's fog. I think. Well, I hope that's what the case is. Is my. All right. Let me see. I see blue skies over there. It's a miracle because it's warm over there. I just realized it's noon. So that means it's gonna be literally just straight up white. Smart today, aren't I? Right. All right. That's where I'm gonna end this video today. Make sure to watch the uh, lunar eclipse video that I'm gonna post tomorrow. I'm gonna post a video either either if I saw it. 
or if I not saw it. So we're gonna hope that I see it, and I'll see you guys later, and make sure to watch that.